Welcome to Top Shops. Today, we're at the shop of Denny Bolig, Fenton, Iowa farmer and president of Drago Tech USA, and we're talking corn heads. And the reason why we're looking at corn heads is I suspect farmers are experiencing more head losses due to maybe uh, poor maintenance or misadjustment than they necessarily realize, Denny. Is that your observation as well? Absolutely. Uh, harvesting corn now, the genetics that we harvest today, is, is uh, different than what we did, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, yield loss from, from a head, yeah, it's, it's there, it's real. No matter, no matter how much, no matter how well of a job you do of adjusting and maintenance your, your equipment, a combine, a corn head, you're gonna have some yield loss. It's impossible to eliminate all yield loss. So the goal of the farmer really should be to, to reduce those losses. So Danny, I've seen some university research indicating that because of the new hybrids and because of the higher yields, losses at the head can be 10 to 15 percent on average on some farm operations. Would you disagree with that? Um, when you say 10 to 15 percent, uh, you know, 10 to 15 percent of all the loss in the field, actually Dave, it, it's almost closer to 40 percent Oh my gosh, no, really? no, that's 60, excuse me, it's actually 60%. 60% of the yield loss in a field comes from the corn head. The corn head to me, the corn head to me is right behind uh, the importance of that in the lineup of equipment for a farmer is right behind the corn plant because it's the next thing that actually physically touches that corn plant. You look at well, all the work that's done to to, to get that corn planter to plant that corn and, and, and precision and everything else. And the next thing that's actually going to touch that corn plant is the corn head. You know, it, it's not to, not to devalue the value of a good combine, okay? But, but it's like with a corn planter. What's the most, what's more important in the modern day planting of corn? The tractor or the corn planter? <laughs> the planter. The planter. <laughs> yes. Not, and again, the combines, yeah, we can't do anything without the combine, but they've become you know, more and more foolproof. Yeah. You know, the, tra the, the challenge is in the corn head. Now with modern genetics, uh, we're harvesting corn at, at very low moisture levels, uh, um, you know, down 20, 18, all the way down to, to 13 and 10% corn we've seen in some areas. That sets up a situation where the, that, that ear becomes very fragile. And you've got to remember, with that corn head, our goal is to get that ear all the way into the combine intact. We don't want separation to get into the combine. And so harvesting now uh, with uh, what you talked about was the, that there's, these are big combines and big corn heads, but there's still the need for speed that a lot of farmers are looking at. I want to drive faster. Denny, at what speed does an ear come into the deck plate? I mean, we're talking miles per hour here. We're right? talking miles per hour. If we're, if we're talking, uh, you know, where most people run a, a conventional head, you're pulling that plant down at, at 15 to 18 miles an hour. Wow. You know, Graham Quick, the Iowa State engineer, he was kind of a world authority on combines. He always said the best friend of anybody running a combine was the owner's manual. Would you agree with that? I absolutely agree with that. You, you've got to, you know, the, the machines, you know, we don't use them every day. It's not like our, our computer we turn on, our iPad we flip open and we just pop, 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 and it's every day. These combines, these combines and corn heads are used only really weeks out of the year. And we have to refamiliarize ourselves with, with you know, the procedure to adjust them, to maintain them and, and maintenance them. And this is, brings up the point about deck plates is, you know, I've actually had to go on my dad's corn head and try to adjust those. And they hadn't ever been adjusted and they were just <laughs> rusted. Yeah. And we had to take yeah. a torch in and some of mm -hmm. them to try to get them to free up. Yeah. That's the old fashioned deck plates. Yeah. But I understand even the hydraulic adjustable, they can actually rust where they're not m moving. The deck plate itself right now, it should always be running right beside the stock. Because you realize that that is the channel, that deck plate gap is the channel to lose any shell corn 
that, that is in that, you know, that comes off of the butt of the ear. You know, the, so the, it, the idea of having that gap as tight as possible without plugging the row unit, right. without, without, you know, breaking stocks off. So there's a balance there. Um, you know, you, you need to have that set for that. We've gone through, got the deck plates taken care of. It's logical then to go to the uh, gathering chains, right? As they work with the deck plates. The potential always in farming is to have down corn. And that gathering chain, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's the one of the most important things to, to be able to reach out and pull and lift up this corn. So it isn't just, it isn't just there to, to move the ear after it's been harvested uh, up, up to the auger. It's presenting the stock to the deck plate, isn't it's it? It's actually presenting the stock to the deck plate. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. And, and, and so it's critical that they be, that they be adjusted and, and, and properly maintained. We've gone through the chain, got it up, uh, talking about that crucial mechanism because it's kind of like a three-legged stool. We got a stock roller down there too. Is that kind of often forgot? Because those things can wear, especially in spots, can't they? Absolutely. The, the stock roller, you know, again, when, you know, the purpose of the stock roller, you know, the original design of a corn head and the stock roller is, was simply to pull the plant down. And now we're seeing, you know, multiple things try and be done with the stock roller. You know, not only pull the plant down, but try to chew up the corn stalks and all that. Chop up the corn stalks. Well, yeah, you know, all the and, things and, go with it. You know, that, that's, you know, and that, it, it, it it's not what the original design or the, the, the primary purpose of that stock roller is to pull that plant down and, and not, not break it off and, and all those things. But, but with a stock roller, you gotta realize that's, 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 that's where all the, the really hard work of a corn head starts that puts a lot of wear and, and tear all the way through, all the way through the drive mechanisms, all the way back to the combine. Do you assume also that you're good for the season when it comes to maintenance, or should you stop mid-season or somewhere along the season and just do an inspection again of where? Well, Ken, uh, of course, David, depends on the size of the operations. Sure. But if you look at these farm operations, the amount of acres that are going through this, absolutely, you need to be, you know, you need to be double checking, double checking, triple checking sometimes through the season to make sure your chain tension, you know, looking at, at your deck plates because, I mean, in, in, one, in, in one field, you can have some obstructions there that, that, that maybe spread your deck plates open on a conventional deck plate or hydraulic deck plate. And, and you don't, it, it'd be a shame to, to think that you, you know, you know, that happened in the first 100 acres and then you harvested a thousand acres after that and that row, that one row was losing, losing some more grain than the other rows. Denny, is there a website you can go to to get more information on both uh, maintenance and adjusting corn heads? Absolutely. You can go to our website, dragotech.com, and to pick up some pointers on making you have a better harvest. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.